Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. Hope you're all doing fine and um, I also hope you're all learning Kubernetes. Um, okay, right. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, G Cloud, uh, Google Cloud Console, and how you can use the uh, G Cloud command line to interact with the uh, with your cluster. Uh, basically, Google Cloud has got the uh, the Kubernetes uh, service as uh, GKE, Google Kubernetes Engine. Okay, so without wasting much time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to log into my uh, Google console. So if you've got a Gmail account, you can uh, open a Google Cloud console. Um, if you type Google Cloud console Google Cloud console and let me log in okay I'm logging into my Google Cloud console um, I've logged in previously and I've uh, tried this video prior to recording this demo and if you're logging in for the first time, you might see a different dashboard or a different page. Um, what you can do is there is a free um, credits that Google gives you um, for one year, basically for 365 days. Uh, I think it's 300 US dollar, I think, uh, worth of credit that you can use. Um, if you are shown that uh, offer, please go for it. And uh, basically, I enabled that one, and I've got still uh, I've still got some credits left in my uh, cloud console. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, create a project. So that's how we will be uh, working uh, with the uh, G Cloud command line. So you need to create a project. Uh, you need to enable billing and you need to enable some API. So if you're working with uh, Kubernetes engine, uh, if you're working with Compute Engine, you have to enable the Compute Engine API, you have to enable the uh, Kubernetes uh, Engine API. For example, if you go to the uh, the APIs here, um, you can also search for APIs in the uh, search bar about APIs and services. Um, view all and you can search for Kubernetes. Kubernetes Engine API, if you select that, you can enable this API here, uh, but you don't have to. When you uh, create a project, then you can go ahead and do that. And you have to create a billing account. Uh, basically, when you uh, set up a Google Cloud Console, uh, it will ask you for your uh, payment details. And don't worry if you're using uh, your free credits, you won't be billed. Okay, I'm going to go to home. And it says you haven't got any project. Select a project or create a project. So the first step I'm going to do after logging into the Google Cloud console is to create a project. Give your project a name. Uh, just me and open source. Uh, click create. Um, I think it's going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video here and come back when the project is ready. All right, uh, the project has been created. If you can see here, uh, the project has got a name and a project ID. Let's go to the project settings. Migrate. If you want to delete this project, basically it's uh, the shutdown option. OK, let's go back. OK, so all um, I did here is to uh, create a project. That's it. So now we're going to download uh, the uh, G Cloud command line client, right? OK, uh, again, if I go to the browser and type G Cloud command line, uh, G Cloud overview, and that should be a downloads section. 
yeah here it is downloading G cloud go to the download page okay so basically the only requirement is uh, Python 2 uh, with the release number of Python 279 or later let's check it out what version of Python I've got I'm on Arch Linux let's do Python 2 minus minus version I'm on 2715 so that's well about 279 so I've got the requirement satisfied and next is to download the uh, the tarball here so depending on your architecture so I'm on 64-bit architecture I'm going to download this one um, I'm downloading it to my downloads directory save it and it's getting downloaded and once it's downloaded what you need to do is you need to run a script uh, in the directory called install.shell and then do a gcloud in it okay so the tarball has been downloaded going to cd to downloads uh, Google Cloud let's extract it tar is a texf okay so that's extracted CD to that directory and you've got the install.shell command let's try and run it okay I'm going to close that and I'm going to run the install.shell so it says welcome to Google Cloud SDK do you want to help improve Google Cloud SDK? No, not at the moment. Okay, so it gives you the list of uh, components here. And uh, to install or remove components, you can use G Cloud Components Install, G Cloud Components Remove. And if you want to update any of the component, G Cloud Components Update. Modify profile to update your path and enable shell command completion. Do you want to do that? Yes, absolutely. Um, enter a path to an RC file to update or leave blank to use. So, I'm going to open up another uh, pane here. Um, I've got a file called um, zshrc venkat n uh, which will get sourced uh, by dot zshrc so if I show you my dot zshrc and at the end of the file I've got this um, set of code here uh, where I'm sourcing this uh, custom file so I use all my um, uh, customizations in this file zshrc venkat n okay so nothing in here and if I run this command home venkaten dot zshrc venkaten okay so that's done it has updated my uh, zshrc file and if I do that again you can see it has added basically these lines um, so it has added the path so I don't have to add uh, anything else so now technically I should have G cloud in my command line with uh, shell completion enabled okay which G cloud G cloud not found that's because I need to close and reopen my uh, terminal um, I don't have to do that because if I open another pane which G cloud so there it is there is my G cloud and the next step is to uh, run the G cloud init command so you're going to just initialize your environment G cloud init G cloud init checking network connection okay you must log in to continue would you like to log in yes it's going to open up a browser and ask me which account to choose I'm going to choose this account here and the password and it's going to ask me for authorization and click allow okay so now 
you are now authenticated with the Google Cloud SDK. I'm going to close this browser, come back here. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's asking me, please enter the project that you want to associate with this uh, G Cloud environment. I'm going to select item number one, just me and open source. So which is the uh, the project that I created on my Google Cloud console. Okay, uh, project is set. Right, what's next? Okay. Um, so we have installed the uh, G Cloud command line. We have initialized our environment. So we can try and run some basic uh, command line um, commands. G Cloud config list. Uh, so I'm logged in as uh, this account and I've selected this project. You can do G Cloud compute instances. Uh, list okay so this is the first time I'm running this command I'm trying to list the uh, the compute instances I've got I haven't got any compute instances but I need to enable the API uh, it's asking me the API and the compute API is not enabled um, you need to enable the API you can enable the API in the command line here or you can go to the uh, Google console and enable it there going to say no to that and I'm going to do G cloud container clusters list so this will list if I've got any kubernetes cluster so I haven't got any kubernetes cluster and I'm going to go to the Google cloud console search for API APIs and services I'm going to search um, API enable APIs and services and I'm going to search for compute compute engine API select that and um, click enable so this is going to take a few minutes and I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's ready. Right, uh, the API got enabled and if I go back to the terminal now and type the same command gcloud compute instances list um, zero items because I haven't got any uh, compute instances run in Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the Kubernetes API. APIs and services. Enable APIs and services. Kubernetes Engine API. Click that and enable it. Again, it's going to take a few minutes. I'll pause the video and come back when it's ready. Right, uh, Kubernetes API has also been enabled back in the uh, terminal let's do some of the commands g cloud config if you just do g cloud help um, you'll get basically uh, the help what commands you can run um, g cloud version um, okay and g cloud components list so that's the list of components and if you see here kubectl is not enabled um, in my next video I'll be showing you how to uh, create a Kubernetes cluster um, and in the following video I'll um, show you how you can um, schedule some application deploy some application on your uh, GKE Google Cloud uh, console um, but you need to have kubectl installed either you can uh, in all my previous videos, I've downloaded the kubectl uh, from uh, kubernetes.io uh, but you can also install, if you haven't got kubectl installed on your uh, machine already, you can use gcloud to install kubectl. Um, you can use gcloud components install kubectl do you want to continue? So it says it's going to install version 110 
seven, which is um, slightly older version, but according to uh, Google GKE, um, that's the stable version, the latest stable version. Um, but if you go to the Kubernetes.io and download the kubectl manually, you could get the latest version, which is something like 1.13.1 or something. Okay, let's go ahead and install it. Um, it's downloading kubectl at the moment. Let's wait for it to complete. Performing post-processing steps. So once that's done, we should be having kubectl. Yes, we do have kubectl version minus minus short minus minus client. Yep. Uh, so we've got version one ten seven, um, which is the same one as here. Okay, so that's how you install the um, various components to interact with your Google uh, Cloud Console. G Cloud Components List. And uh, if you want to know more about this particular components command, you can run G Cloud Help Components. Um, here it says you can install, list, reinstall, remove, restore, update, and there are some examples here. Okay, then you can do G Cloud config list. G Cloud config. Um, you can do G Cloud help config. Um, um, okay, so there are lots of uh, options here. Compute. You can set a specific uh, region uh, and a specific uh, zone. Um, let's try and do that. G Cloud Compute Regions List. G Cloud Compute Zones List. G Cloud Compute Regions List. Um, Europe West 1, Europe West 2. Okay, G Cloud Compute Zones List. Okay, so there are lots of zones. So I'm in UK, so let's choose this one. That's the zone and that's the uh, region. G Cloud config set minus minus help. If I type it correctly, G Cloud config set minus minus help. Section, property, and value. Let's see if there are any examples. Uh, G Cloud config set project, which we already set. Okay, so that's what I want. G Cloud config set compute uh, zone. Um, okay. G Cloud config set compute zone. Um, let's set mine to Europe West 1C. Okay, G Cloud config list. Um, okay, so now you can see my zone is set to um, Europe West 1C. Cool. Um, so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you a quick video on how you can start using your Google Cloud Console and um, uh, G Cloud command line. Um, you basically need to download it, um, do a G Cloud in it, and if you want to set a default region zone, you can do that. Uh, and when you deploy your uh, compute instances via command line, it defaults to the uh, the zone and region you specified in your configuration. And if you're wondering where these configurations are stored, it's under your home directory in a file called .boto. So that's the uh, the configuration file. And um, one other thing I wanted to show you is in my Google Cloud Console, uh, you need to enable billing uh, you need to create a billing account. I've got my billing account. And as you can see here, um, I think it's 300 US dollars that's converted to something like 
to 33.79 um, British pounds. And that's my uh, billing account. You need to link your payment method to this uh, billing account. And out of 365 days, I've got 289 days remaining, and I've got 233 pounds 33 pence of credits remaining. So I'm still using my um, free credits. Okay, so that's it for this video. And in my next video, I'll show you how you can create a Kubernetes cluster um, using uh, uh, the Google Cloud Console or using the uh, command line. Um, using the Cloud Console is easier because if you want to use the command line, you need to um, add lots of options to it. Um, although you can use a simple command line, but uh, to fine tune it, you need to add lots of parameters to it. Okay, and um, I'll catch you in my next video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.